How's it going, everybody? So I'm back again on the movie review. This time around, we're talking about the latest Robin Hood film. Well, Robin Hood 2018. I specifically say 2018 because there's a lot of versions of Robin Hood since it is kind of like a public domain character. I wasn't really expecting much from this adaptation. I didn't really, wasn't really that impressed with any of the trailers leading up to this, even though I like a fair amount of the cast in this. So I figured I'd give it a shot, but I put up a poll on Twitter saying, should I go see it? Should I not go see it? If you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do that because... I post up a lot of polls to see what you guys want to see and what you don't want to see. So if you want to join in on those, you know, follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. So is Robin Hood the movie to see around Thanksgiving time when Creed 2 and Ralph Breaks the Internet both come out? No. Like, either of those are much better options than this. This film was not very good whatsoever. If I had to really describe this film with not in too much detail, it's kind of like what I'd expect a Robin Hood film would be if it was directed by Michael Bay because this film is filled with very bland characters, random explosions, really bad dialogue, and a lot of slow-mo action. Well, that's usually what I'm used to when it comes to, like, the Transformers movies he's done. So I was like, I really felt like the same kind of vibe but with Robin Hood, which isn't a, you know, a, not a good thing, because this film really... I really didn't enjoy anything about it, almost. If you've seen pretty much any adaptation of Robin Hood on screen, this is no different. It's pretty much the same thing. It's Robin Hood, you know, takes from the rich and gives to the poor, and him and Little John are gonna overthrow the crown, and... All that stuff. And that's basically the same thing here. That's why I felt like it was kind of a big waste of time. They didn't really try to do anything too new or different. It's just the same thing we've seen in every Robin Hood adaptation. It's just another version. And it felt like a big waste of time. At least if they tried new things and then it failed, I could have given them points for at least them trying to do new things. But there really isn't anything. I mean, they do give the little cliche narration about, like, you think you know the story, but this is how it really went down. Even though that whole saying is cliche as it is, but it's still the same stuff. Like, you're not going to fool me. I know how the story goes. It's super predictable. Even the action scenes weren't executed very well, because it's usually a mixture of poorly shot shaky cam where you don't know what the hell's going on. Or then it cuts to, like, super, super slow-mo. And, I mean, it's kind of cool maybe once or twice when you see Robin Hood shooting some arrows in slow-mo or dodging something. But, like, it's cool, like, once. And then it's not really that cool anymore. I mean, even when they try to do kind of more interesting things, because they play with the time period a little bit, because they don't really know when this takes place, because they even say it in the narration. Obviously, it's way back in the day. But they got, like, really crazy stuff, like a Gatling gun, but it's arrows. And that was, like, the most absurd thing I've seen, other than the whole fact that this film is PG-13, so you can't really show too much blood or violence, and Jamie Foxx had the least bloody hand amputation probably in the history of film. I don't know why, I don't know why you even bother lingering on a shot like that, because he just gets his hand chopped off, and they kind of linger on Jamie Foxx kind of holding, like, where his stump is, and, like, there's no blood. There's no blood, even though he got his hand chopped off by a sword. Like, the why? Why show it? Speaking more of Jamie Foxx's Little John, I felt like he was a very odd choice for this role, especially with his old accent kind of fading in and out as the movie progressed. Like, he gets probably most of the cringy dialogue in this film. I really just, he just felt really out of place out of every actor in this. I mean, I really like Taron Egerton. He plays Robin Hood in this film. I really don't think he was that bad, you know, all things considered. Like, they just give him really bad dialogue, but I think he pulled off being Robin Hood fairly well it's just the movie centered around him isn't very good but if you put that Robin Hood in a better film I think Taron Egerton would have nailed it even more there's also supposed to be this love triangle between Robin Hood Marion and Jamie Dornan's character and it absolutely does not work because they have zero chemistry like the actress that plays Marion is okay she's really not in it that much so there's probably part of the problem with the whole having chemistry between her and Robin Hood is because of the whole fact that they don't really share too much screen time together for the most of the film. So you really don't care about this love triangle, even though they try to force it in with Jamie Doran's character, who kind of just whines a lot. And he really, I mean, he's supposed to be like, I guess, the leader of the poor in this film, but he doesn't really do that much. He just whines and he's dating Marion. So there's your love triangle. Congratulations. And I don't, it really bothers me that he was even in this film. Maybe as like sequel bait. But other than that, I mean, Ben Mendelsohn, I feel like he's getting kind of typecast in these villain kind of roles. 
because he's been the villain in so many films over the last couple of years. And once again, he's just a generic bad guy in this. He doesn't really get much to do. Although he has a really nice, like, designer coat that feels completely out of place compared to, like, the time period he's in. It looks like something I could go pick up off the rack at, like, Nordstrom. Like, it doesn't look like something that would be from that time period. This, like, big, long, white, fancy-looking coat. I don't know why he, like, the, the decision to give him that coat was, but... Yeah, he was very generic, not a very memorable villain. Friar Tuck's also in this, at least a little bit. I guess he's supposed to be like the comic relief character, but he's not that funny. I mean, this film is very humorless, other than uh, the unintentional humor. Like some of some of the stuff I mentioned before, like with the arrow Gatling gun, and there's like this one scene where they show uh, Ben Mendelsohn's villain character, and he's like slow mo brushing his hair and putting his coat on. I don't know why they felt they linger on this slow-mo shot of him brushing his hair with two brushes and putting his designer coat on, but this movie is just weird. Like, I, I didn't expect much from this movie. Like, if I was going to say to go see this movie, I would say don't go see it. Go see Creed or the Wreck-It Ralph sequel. I definitely don't think this is something you need to go out and see. This is something maybe you throw on when it's on TV or if, you, if it goes to Netflix. Otherwise, I really don't recommend this film. It's really not that enjoyable and it's very long because this film it's like two hours long it's filled with bland characters and some really generic action scenes that I don't feel like is worth anyone's time to check out but if you're a glutton for punishment why not check it out I guess but I don't recommend this film personally those are just my thoughts on Robin Hood leave a comment in the comment section down below what you thought of the film did you like it did you not like it let me know why let's get a discussion going in the comments also do you plan on going to see Robin Hood or are you going to see one of the other many films that are coming out on Thanksgiving but uh, thank you so much for checking out my little review. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're up to date with all my movie reviews, trailer reactions, unboxings, and more. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.